Hello, this is Hurricane Irma as seen from space early on Monday the 4th of September, courtesy of NOAA. Here we've got South America, the Caribbean, and up in the top corner there is Florida. Now, at the time of recording, Hurricane Irma is a Category 3 major hurricane with sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. It is moving westwards and the National Hurricane Center of the United States has issued a hurricane watch with impacts for the Caribbean in particular over the next 48 hours. This is one possible track during Monday and Tuesday of Hurricane Irma. Now, this puts it very close to the northern part of the Leeward Islands of the Caribbean. And the Hurricane Watch is in force for Barbuda, Antigua, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, amongst other islands in this part of the Caribbean. You can see how the strongest of the winds are fairly close to the eye of the hurricane. In fact, at the moment, hurricane force winds extend 30 miles outside of the eye of the hurricane. And that means that very small differences in the exact track of the hurricane will make big differences in terms of who sees those strongest winds. But the area for heavy rain extends much further. And it is possible as Hurricane Irma moves west that impacts will be felt across the Caribbean from heavy rainfall, storm surge and strong winds. But the track is very uncertain. Like I mentioned, this is just one possible track. But the official track from the National Hurricane Center moves Hurricane Irma westwards. The size of this cone indicating on days one to three and on days four to five, the uncertainty in terms of the north-south positioning of Irma. And of course, this is the position of the eye of the hurricane. Impacts from wind, rain and from storm surge could extend outside of this cone. Now, later on, after days four to five, the track takes it close to the United States, but it is way too early to tell what impact, if any, Hurricane Irma could have on the United States. What does look likely is that Hurricane Irma will remain as a major hurricane as it stays in close contact with very warm tropical seas during the next five days. Staying as a Category 3 or even strengthening further during the next few days. So it is something we are keeping a very close eye on here at the Met Office.